It is the Blitz here on 94.1 at San Antonio Sports Star, your South Texas home of the Dallas Cowboys. He's Joe Reinagel. I'm Jason Minix. Speaking of the Dallas Cowboys, Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys joining us on the Buyers Barricades at Guest Line. Stephen, appreciate you jumping on on this Thursday. And I know with the way things went last week, at what point do you start worrying more about next season? Well, we're not there. We've still got uh, eight games left to play. And, uh, you know, we're getting healthier. And, you know, our goal is to go out and, uh, you know, get a big win here against the Texans. Uh, you know, right now that's the focus of this football team. But uh, uh, we'll just keep working working in that direction. You know, Stephen, when you look at last week's game and, and you see Cooper Rush, obviously he didn't have a very good game last week. Do you just chalk that up as just not a lot of playing time, and do you expect him to be better this week? Yeah, we fully expect him to. And, uh, you know, Cooper played well in relief for Dak in the game before. Thought he played really well. And, uh, you know, he did when he fumbled the ball there in the first quarter. He took a big hit, uh, you know, in his neck and shoulder area. And uh, But, uh, you know, Cooper's never going to complain, and he grinded it out. But uh, – I fully expect to see the Cooper Rush that uh, went seven and one and uh, played, uh, you know, played a, a good game, came in and filled in for Dak the week before, and I thought played well. Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys joining us here on the Blitz. Mike McCarthy used the term lead back today and talking about Rico Dowdle. Is there going to be more of a focus on Rico and, and maybe a goal of 15, 20 rushes on Monday night against the Texans? Yeah, I know, Mike, uh, you know, week in and week out, we want to run the ball more. We've had some tough situations where we've gotten behind and maybe get away from that. But I know the goal would be to get, you know, Rico, uh, you know, 15 to 20 carries would be outstanding. And then, obviously, uh, uh, you know, if it's Zeke, Zeke, Dalvin, it's Dalvin. But, uh, you know, the other back pick up, uh, you know, pick up the remaining carries. But we certainly would like to run the ball uh, more. I think when Rico's run it, I think he's averaging four and a half for the year and maybe over five yards to carry his last couple of games. So when we do run it with him, he's successful. You know, Stephen, when you just look at this matchup with the with the Houston Texans coming in, uh, everybody in Texas obviously excited. This is a game that uh, I've, the players, everybody should be pretty excited for. Yeah, it's always uh, – Great. Uh, I remember when we used to play the Houston Oilers, it was a big deal. And uh, Bud Adams uh, had the Oilers down there. Uh, then it spilled on over into Mr. McNair and the Texans. But, uh, you know, there's always uh, the pride of the state of Texas is on the line uh, when these two teams meet and always makes for an exciting matchup. Stephen Jones of the Cowboys joining us here on the Blitz at, at three and six. You know, the talking about the Cowboys never ends. Uh, and they think about just this week alone, all the conversation about should they put up curtains because the sun is bright, the comments that Micah made. And, and today it's uh, about Deion Sanders. Could he be the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys? You guys sit around in your in your office sometimes and just laugh at some of the national storylines? Well, I just think it's, you know, one of the things that Jerry's always uh, – uh, you know, always preach is you don't want them to quit caring. And uh, uh, people do want, like to talk about uh, the Cowboys, uh, the Dallas Cowboys, and uh, all the moving parts that come with it. And uh, uh, But the great thing is people uh, care and they want to talk about you. When they quit talking about you, that's when you have a problem. Yeah, absolutely right. Absolutely right. Steven, again, and I know we talk about this week in and week out, but the, the locker room situation and the players – uh, I know Micah Parsons came out and and, and was very um, excited about this week's game. He, he and C.J. Stroud are good friends. But uh, do, do you have any issue or worry about that locker room as you move through uh, the schedule? No, we've got a good group of men uh, in our locker room. It's a team, uh, you know, uh, you know, predominantly uh, it's been, you know, the leadership of the team. It's the same group that's, uh, you know, won uh, 12 games, uh, you know, three years running. And, uh, you know, that doesn't happen without good character men. And uh, uh, everybody's disappointed uh, where we are at this point in time. Uh, that goes without saying. I mean, our expectations were much higher, uh, you know, to, than where we sit today at three and six. But uh, certainly believe uh, not only, you know, the guys who are playing, uh, our leadership on our team, but, 
you know, we've got three, uh, you know, a great coaching staff there that's been around the block. They've seen it all. Mike McCarthy, Mike Zimmer, uh, the worst. So, uh, you know, I, I like our group. Uh, they're professionals. They're going to work every day. And uh, right now, I, I don't see any reasons uh, for concern in terms of the locker room. Steven, speaking of uh, some guys on the health front, one, Dak coming off that surgery, I trust everything. All reports seem that it, it went well. But Deron Bland, thought we might see him on the field a little by now, and, and he's still not practicing. What's the status with Bland? Do you expect to get him back this season? Well, he's really made some big <laughs> steps. Sorry. Some big steps the last two weeks. And I uh, uh, think uh, – you know, probably not going to uh, make it uh, this week, but he's really getting close and, uh, you know, could start to work back in and see action as early as next week. Good deal. Steven Jones of the Dallas Cowboys, go get a win against those Texans on Monday night. Thank you, guys. Always good being on with you. Appreciate it. Steven Jones of the Dallas Cowboys on the Buyers Barricades guest line where they provide traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond online at at buyersbarricades.com.